it's a beautiful night here in Austinburg, Ohio at the uh, Titan uh, factory. So after what seems like a lot longer than it should have taken, I am finally to the point where I'm ready to start building on the tornado. It took uh, several days to sort through all the tools and then work through um, all the packing lists and make sure that all the parts and pieces were here. There's so the three totes are the consolidated parts uh, generally. So one box is the fuselage kit that has all the kits, parts and pieces for the fuselage kit. One uh, is the finishing. There's a finishing kit box that's there. There's another box that has um, all the soft parts and pieces for uh, the rubber and the gaskets and all those kind of things. And the other tote is all rivets and uh, bolts. My parts and pieces are on different shelves and so you'll see here that I've got uh, the nose cone, the gas tank, the seats, a couple of tools, a bench grinder and some other tools that came uh, with the kit. That long piece right there is the tail boom and the control stick rods are inside of there and then on a different shelf I've got some other parts and pieces. So a few of the goodies that were included were an IVO prop, electric in-flight adjustable propeller, uh, the mounts for the 912 IS Rotax, and then um, the exhaust system, manifold system for the uh, Rotax. So those are all things that I, uh, I'm planning on installing that motor, so they're all things that I'll use, and that was a, a good bonus. Uh, kit's 99% uh, complete. There's a few missing parts and pieces here and there, but it's nice that I'm at the factory so I can just be able to, to grab those off the shelf and, and pay John for those as I need them. But overall, uh, pretty happy with, with the uh, kit and the purchase and uh, getting right excited to get ready to get uh, building on it. Here's the eight foot stabilator. This is a flying surface, unlike like a Cessna that has a fixed horizontal stabilizer with an elevator attached to the back. Uh, this entire stabilator is a flying uh, piece and so uh, the whole piece moves and then that back full piece is the, is the trim tab. So that is how you trim it. Um, when you trim it, the trim goes through that hole right there you can see and it adjusts that trim tab piece up and down to ma maintain your uh, pitch. So that piece has been completed by Randy and it's pretty much ready to be mounted when the time comes. This kit was originally purchased by Randy Sill um, who was a Titan dealer and has built multiple tornadoes. Uh, unfortunately Randy had passed away from COVID uh, in 2021 I believe. I'd never actually had the opportunity to meet Randy but uh, his neighbor had bought the kit and was planning on building it and then uh, never got around to doing it. And so uh, when I learned about the kit, I reached out and talked with the current owner and he and I talked about it. And so I decided to purchase it. I talked with John at the factory, uh, John Williams here at the factory. And he said that uh, if Randy had built the wing, which had been started, that um, it would it would be a good wing and that it would be would, it would, have, would have been built correctly. So um, tomorrow I'm going to sit down and start doing uh, some checks on the wing. I pulled the bottom skins off. Uh, Randy did a lot of work on the wings um, and I don't know that I'm going to use all the work that he'd put into it but uh, a lot of a lot of good work. I pulled the skins off this evening and uh, you can see that they're sitting here. He dimpled all of the skins and then he had planned on putting in, it looks like fuel tanks uh, in each wing. There are some bladders that also came with the kit, but he has all the internal uh, piping run. You can see on the inside of the wing, he's got the electric flap motor installed. The aileron controls are also installed and good, ready to go. So I've checked all of those, all the hardware is there, everything's uh, attached correctly. I'll be checking the washout tomorrow just to make sure the washout's correct on the wings, but uh, overall so far just from a, a quick glance it looks correct. A uh, couple of minor things I need to do, I need to put the tie downs, um, the tie down brackets in the wing and cut the skins for those. And then I also need to install the uh, drop tank. He has a wing tank 
kit that he had purchased. So I'll grab the uh, instructions and do that tomorrow. So general plan is the, to get on the wings tomorrow. Um, top side of the wing is pretty much complete. Looking at the leading edge up, you can see that he dimpled all of the spots and was planning on using flush rivets. He did the same thing on all of the control surfaces, so the flaps and the ailerons are all flush rivets, and so they're nice and smooth and planning on the skin. So on the top wing, it meets with a butt joint right there. It's uh, nice and tight. I've pulled a few Clecos out, but you can see that it's got a nice tight seam right there, so it's going to be a, a good fit. On the bottom side of the wing, same thing. He's gone through and he has dimpled all of the holes. And he's dimpled the skins so they match up. Initially, I was a little concerned when I, when I unpacked the wing and we got looking at it, the bottom skins were laying over because they overlap the bottom part of the wing down here. They go underneath that skin right here. And these have been dimpled. And those have all been counter drilled. So that skin will slide underneath that seam all the way across. And then those top skins, uh, will, those bottom will be dimpled and we'll use um, flush rivets all the way across. So the entire top and bottom of the wing will be flush rivets and will look really, really nice. I'm not sure how much it'll in, improve performance. Uh, it's a big wing, but it's definitely going to look nice with all those rivets flush mounted. Sitting next to my frame that's upside down is another tornado that's been worked on here in the factory. The timing of this project actually was about perfect. So this build trip, I was going to come down for two weeks and work on the center section for the T-51 Mustang. Unfortunately, with some shop issues, uh, the team has not got my center section built yet. So I, had I come down to build, it wouldn't have been ready for me to go. So it actually worked out that uh, the kit uh, for the tornado came along and that I ended up uh, going down to Orlando or uh, uh, Tampa, just outside of Tampa to pick it up. And then uh, 1,000 miles, about 1,100 mile drive, uh, drove the, uh, the entire kit up here and then have spent the last just about a week um, going through sorting parts and pieces. The first couple days were spent sorting tools and going through and figuring out what hardware was part of the package and the, the kit and what hardware was additional uh, in the purchase. So the toolboxes, the uh, two roller carts, the one on the uh, far left side and the uh, one of the toolbox on it are uh, roller carts and the toolboxes that came with the purchase of the kit and then all the tools that were included. So join me on this adventure of building my Titan Tornado.